Not every object can be directly converted into a working light instrument. This guide will explain start to finish how to properly create 2D slash 3D hybrid geometry and then correctly convert those objects into a functioning lighting instrument. The first thing we will create is the symbol the lighting instrument will use. A symbol for a lighting instrument can be 2D only, however this guide will create a full 2D and 3D representation of our light so that it can be used in 3D renderings. When creating your own symbol, keep in mind that the 2D representation should be as simple as possible. Lighting instruments are often repeated dozens or even hundreds of times within the same document, and every component of the symbol, no matter how small, increases the amount of work that Vectorworks will have to do each time you add, modify, or view one of these objects. The simpler the object is at creation, the faster your documents will be when using it. In this guide, to save time, we have provided a few starting points for your geometry. Open the file Custom Lighting Instruments 01.vwx. You will see a simple polygon that represents half of the 2D appearance of the lighting instrument. Why only half of it has been created will be explained shortly. Select one of the polygons then copy and paste a copy of it off to the side. We will use this later to create the 3D portion. Activate the mirror tool in the basic tool palette with the tool set to the second mode, duplicate mode. Click once on the top left of the polygon we will be using to create the 2D component. Then a second time on the bottom left. This will create an exact duplicate of the first half lined up perfectly with the second half. Select both the original and the duplicated halves. Select Modify, Add Surface to combine them into one simple polygon. This will be our 2D component for the symbol. Now, we'll move over to the copy of the half polygon we created earlier. The reason we only created half, in addition to making it easy to create a perfectly symmetrical 2D component, is so that we can use the sweep command on this half to create the 3D component rapidly without having to model individual pieces one at a time. Select the remaining polygon half, then select Model, Sweep. The default values should be correct for what we are doing. Make sure that the arc angle is set to 360 degrees and click OK. We now have a sweep object selected. In the Attributes palette, Set the fill and pen colors to a dark gray. This is a very simple way of creating a 3D lighting instrument component. You can create additional custom geometry if you would like when creating your own custom symbols in the future, but this will give you a good 3D representation while taking very little time and use a minimum of Vectorworks resources. Activate the selection tool in the basic tool palette then hover over the top center of the 2D polygon until you see the midpoint Q appear. Click and drag the polygon over top of the sweep we just created so that you align your clicked midpoint with the sweep's top center Q. Select both objects, then select Modify, Create Symbol. Name it Custom Light 01. Select Next Mouse Click for the insertion point Make sure Leave Instance in Place is checked, then click OK. Our next click, which determines the insertion point of the symbol, also determines the hanging point for the instrument, or the point at which it will be connected to other hardware and the point upon which it will rotate. Click on the center of the symbol, where the top center Q appears, along the top of the thickest point of the light. A final change must be made to the symbol's geometry itself so that the 3D component of the symbol will align correctly in a 3D view. The 3D component should always be aligned so that the light is pointing straight down by default. If not, the 3D component of the lighting instrument will be randomly offset in its tilt and pan angle as well as facing a different direction than the light emitting from it. Double click to edit the symbol, then choose 3D component and click edit. Go to the left view in the Views drop-down menu, select Modify, Rotate, Rotate Left 90 degrees. Exit the Symbol Editing Mode. So far, we have created the body component of the lighting instrument. Now, in 3D only, we will add a simple yoke and clamp component. 
These two objects have been provided for us for use in this guide. However, as with the body, any geometry can be used for these parts. First, edit the symbol again, choosing 3D Component, and click Edit. Double-click the Custom Light Yoke symbol from the Resource Browser, then double-click on the center of the light body. This will place the object we are going to use for our instrument's yoke. Change to a front view. You will most likely see that the yoke is too far up. Select the yoke object if it is not already selected. While holding down the shift key, we will click and drag the yoke to its appropriate position in relation to the body. Change back to a top view, then double click the custom light clamp symbol in the resource browser. Double click on the center locus point to place the clamp geometry. Change to the left view. Confirm that the clamp snapped to the top center of the yoke as shown. The three objects should now be aligned as they would be in real life, with the light aiming at the floor. To verify this, you can change to an isometric view and set rendering mode to OpenGL. Now, to ensure that the object will insert at the correct position, as well as rotate around the point at which the yoke connects to the body, go to the left view then select all the geometry inside the symbol. Click on the top of the clamp. Then hold the shift key and drag all objects so that the center of the clamp's grip is aligned with the locus of the symbol editing mode. And switch to a top plan view. Click on the 3D locus tool in the 3D modeling tool set. Click on the center locus of the 3D editing mode to place the 3D loci. Activate the Selection tool, then switch to the Front View. Select the 3D loci. Click and hold Shift while dragging to bring the 3D loci in alignment with where the yoke connects to the body, as shown. This will indicate to Vectorworks where you want the body and the yoke to pivot around. If you do not add a 3D loci, they will pivot around the insertion point the final steps are to select Edit, Invert Selection, so that everything other than the 3D loci inside of the 3D component of the symbol is selected. In the Object Info palette, under the Render tab, choose Default Instrument Texture for the object's texture. This will allow light beams and lit fog to function properly in 3D renderings. When creating your own custom lighting instrument, you will need to import two records into your working document. These records can be found in any of the pre-created light object library files. These are located in the Object Entertainment folder and have a prefix of lighting dash. For this guide, we have already imported them into the resource browser for you. The parts record controls the three parts we just created, body, yoke, and clamp. Since these parts need to move independently of each other, this record provides them with the correct alignment information based on parameters set for the overall lighting instrument. The Light Info record contains all of the field values you wish to assign to a particular lighting instrument. Not all of the fields are required, but you will need to make sure all of the fields you wish to see have been filled out. It is also recommended that you fill the instrument type field with the manufacturer name as well as the model name for each particular instrument. Light Info Record M is not required, however it contains the metric parameters so that a document can be easily switched from one to the other with a minimum effort. If you are going to be working in both metric and imperial units, back and forth, you should attach this record as well. If you are not still in the editing mode for the 3D component of the symbol, double-click on the symbol and choose to edit the 3D component. With the clamp object selected, click on the Data tab in the Object Info palette, then click the box to the left of Parts in the Record Formats section so that the X appears in it. In the Records field, highlight Base and in the Record Info field, replace False with True. Select the yoke. In the Data tab, Again, attach the parts record by clicking the box to the left of parts. Highlight yoke in the record info field, and again, replace false with true. Do the same for the body. Select it, attach the parts record, 
and set body to true. Now, click with the selection tool in a blank area of the editing mode so that no objects are selected. In the Object Info palette, click on the box to the left of the Light Info record so that an X appears in it. Then, attach the Light Info record M as well by clicking to the left of it in the Data tab. Attaching these two records in the editing mode of the symbol, with no objects selected, attaches the records directly to the entire symbol and is necessary to create a functional lighting instrument. You'll see, in the Data tab of the Object Info palette, that the second set of data is now Record Field Defaults. This area lists all of the possible default values for this particular symbol. You do not need to edit these fields here. They can be done after inserting our custom light as a lighting instrument. But, if you fill the known values out now, you'll save yourself having to do it manually each time later. Exit the symbol editing mode when you've added the desired data. You have now created a properly configured custom lighting instrument symbol that can be used with instrument insertion in your document in exactly the same way as the default library symbols.